Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at the Bombardier CRJ900 from Scandinavian Airlines. And if we take a look at the box, we can see here we have the cutout, so we can see the aircraft inside. We have the Scandinavian Airlines branding right here. Now if you turn the box around, on the back side we have an image of the aircraft. We have the original dimensions of the aircraft. It is also a limited edition. And then we have some additional information as always. So let's look inside. And here she is, the Bombardier CRJ900 in the colors of Scandinavian Airlines. The CRJ900 is currently the smallest aircraft type that Scandinavian Airlines is operating themselves. They do also operate other aircrafts like ATR-72s or Saab 2000s, but those are wet leased and operated by other airlines. Now if we take a closer look at the aircraft and as always start with the tail section of the aircraft, we can see here on the vertical stabilizer the Scandinavian Airlines branding or short SAS. Then on the engines, although very tiny, it does say Scandinavian Airlines once again. Then we have the full registration code and we do of course also have a bit stylized but the three flags of the three countries owning Scandinavian Airlines, so the Swedish, the Norwegian and the Danish flag. Now if we move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, we can see, although it's a bit difficult, along the fuselage the writing of Scandinavian Airlines. We also have right next to the copper window the Star Alliance logo, as Scandinavian Airlines is a member of Star Alliance, in fact one of the founding members. And then right under the cockpit windows we once again have the Scandinavian branding, the name of the aircraft and the three flags of the owner states. If we take a closer look at the front of the aircraft we have some nice details around the cockpit windows. We have the window wipers for the windows and of course just above the cockpit windows we have the emergency hatch for the cockpit. Now a detail worth mentioning is that this aircraft comes with this piece of cardboard with an apron position printed on. Now if you move back to the aircraft itself and take a look here just above the wings we can see the emergency exits which is quite nice. If we take a look at the wings themselves here on the upper side, it's okay, it could be a little more detailed but it's not too bad. And if we take a look at the underside we have the full registration code and the details are also okay. Um, there's a little thing that kind of bothers me, it's not a major catastrophe but the Harper logo is there and it does kind of irritate me. It's not a thing that I always find an issue but I guess in this case it's just the background color, the color of the livery that does it for me, I don't know, but it would have been nice not to have the helper branding here. But let's move on and if you take a look here on the side we can see we have the doors to the cargo compartment and then perhaps the nicest detail, or at least it's my favorite detail, the winglets. We also have the SAS branding on them which is awesome. And with that we have reached the end of today's episode. Now I hope you have enjoyed, if you have feel free to leave a like or if you're new around here why not hit subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. And don't miss out on the next episode of Review where we will take a closer look at a Boeing 737-300 in the colors of Lufthansa. Now until then I would like to say thank you very much for watching, hope to see you soon again, I'm checking out and bye.